tonight, the All-Queensland Grand Final divides the stays. Fans in the North pay a fortune for tickets, while Brisbane supporters sweat on their captain being cleared to play. A giant landslide on the Fraser Coast baffles experts as campers are sent packing. Lawrence Springborg brushes off talk of a leadership spill as Labor charges ahead in the polls. And move over Q1, the Gold Coast is about to guess an even taller tower. This is 10 Eyewitness News with Josh Holt. Good evening. Both the Broncos and the Cowboys are tonight sweating on the fate of their captains ahead of the first All-Queensland Grand Final in the NRL. Justin Hodges faces an anxious wait ahead of tomorrow night's judiciary hearing on a dangerous throw charge. And Jonathan Thurston has just six more days to overcome injury concerns. He'll be the most obvious absentee at tonight's Dalian Best and Fairest Awards, for which he's the red-hot favourite. Veronica Edgerton has the story. Lenore Bowman's roll of the dice has paid off. The avid cowboy... One campground remains locked off and another partially closed following the weekend's devastating landslide on the Fraser Coast. Geotechnical experts say it's not a sinkhole and wasn't caused by recent earthquakes. An area larger than two football fields collapsed into the sea at Inskip Point on Saturday night, forcing the evacuation of dozens of holidaymakers. Jonathan Lee has the latest. Whether you're looking by land, sea, Another poll boost for the Palaszczuk government has set off rumblings about a possible leadership spill for the LNP. Labor has steadily increased its popularity since its shock election win, with more Queenslanders now backing the Premier. Tegan George reports. Acting Premier Curtis Pitt was happy to announce the state's new velodrome. A Brisbane father accused of killing his daughter has had his case suspended while he undergoes a mental health evaluation. Stephen Playford has been charged with the murder of six-year-old Sydney and the attempted murder of her eight-year-old sister at their Kedrum home earlier this month. The 52-year-old is being held in a mental health facility at Wacol. The outcome of the health evaluation could determine how the Director of Public Prosecutions proceeds with the case. Five men branded the ice cream bikies have had their charges thrown out of a Gold Coast court. The group was the first interstate bikies arrested under controversial Vlad laws in January last year. The accused, with links to the Hells Angels and Common Shiros, claimed they're on holiday from Victoria and were simply out together looking to buy ice cream. The great controversy here was whether it was going to be Choc Top or Vanilla. There was no crime, there was no planned crime. All these people were doing was walking down a street. This morning, the prosecution dropped all charges, citing a lack of evidence. Child abduction alerts in Queensland have been replaced by an American system known as the Amber Alert. Police say it will help them save time by sending out alerts even when they don't have definite proof a child is missing. Lauren Day explains. It's a sickening crime where... Former Hey Dad star Robert Hughes has launched an appeal against his conviction and sentence on child sex charges because he says he was denied a fair trial. His lawyers claim there was a miscarriage of justice and his 11-year jail term should be overturned. Melinda Nusifora reports. Robert Hughes's lawyers say their client shouldn't be in jail. Construction of the tallest building on the Gold Coast has been given the green light. The World Tower will soar to 88 storeys in the heart of surface paradise, eclipsing the Q1 by 50 metres. It will include nearly 700 apartments and feature a high-end retail precinct. The acting mayor rejected concerns it would obstruct views and cast shadows over the beach. I understand it's a slimline building so that the uh, shadows that are cast from that building will be limited. Construction will begin next year. Rosie Batty praises a coroner for his findings in her son's horrific murder that's just ahead. Also, a burst water main turns a suburb into a swamp. Plus, the Pope wraps up his American tour, holding mass for a million Catholics. And later in sport, a moment of Jared Hayne brilliance, the only bright spark in a dark day for the 49ers.